Welcome to this time of prayer and meditation. Get yourself into a good posture for prayer. Comfortable, but alert. And let's begin with a few deep breaths. Allow your heart and your mind to settle. Recollect yourself to your proper center, Christ, and prepare to be filled with the Word of God and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Acknowledge your intention for this time of prayer. With humility, we admit our shortcomings and our failures, our sin. We come before a holy God completely dependent upon the work of Christ on our behalf. Let us pray. Today's scripture is Psalm 6. As I read the passage for the first time, just let the words wash over you. Let them saturate your heart and your mind. O oh Lord, rebuke me not in your anger nor discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who will give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and greatly troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. As I read the passage a second time, let the Holy Spirit lead you to what stands out. O 
O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, deliver my life. Save me for the sake of your steadfast love, for in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who will give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and greatly troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. What stood out for you from the passage? Hold it in your mind for the next few moments. Talk with God. Let Him lead you. If you get distracted, simply return to what stood out from the passage. simply rest in God. to a wonderful verse from this psalm for memorization. Verse 9, the Lord has heard my plea, the Lord accepts my prayer. We worship a God who listens and accepts, who invites us to speak with him. Commit yourself to spend time talking with God regularly. React to what God has brought into your mind today and commit to following his leading in that regard. And as we close, 
Let's thank God for his presence with us. Let's thank him for being a God who listens and a God who saves. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Come, Lord Jesus.